So we are going to continue with our Python programming using Win IDE. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. So just run this wing and open up. In the previous video, we showed you how to get the Python shell to the right side. Gen in general, just right click. You can move shell bottom or right. In this case, we like it. Keep on the right. Editor on the left. And uh, we minimize the debugger below. Okay, first step. We have a new file here. If you open the first time, you might get some other thing. You can simply close it. Okay, and click on a new one. Okay, so in here is where we're going to type. And after we type and save, we can run the program and view the results here. So step one, let us save. Currently is untitled. Okay, so we're going to save as. And we are going to go to... For me, I've created a... A special folder. Okay, you can keep it in your document, something, just a folder for Python. Okay, and uh, just uh, call it a Python demo or something. Okay, eventually when you do your projects or assignment, you go to save it as uh, your name, name and class. Okay, so we have saved the file, so now it's called Python demo. It's important that you have to save. If not, you will not be able to view the results. All the programming file must be saved. Then it can be run and executed. Okay, so the first command that I'm going to show you is called the print command. Okay, so you notice that as I'm typing, the words are in black. But when I complete... A command such as print, which is a uh, one of a recognized command, it turns a, a blue color. Okay, so we're going to use the print command for displaying. Okay, take note that in general functions will have a bracket. Okay, and uh, we're going to use quotation mark. Open. Welcome to the jungle okay and uh, so let us see what this does just save it and then you see at the top around the middle there's this green triangle button which is like the play button okay if you click on that you will see the display over here okay and it's not looking too good Okay, so you can add more things to that. By the way, be careful of the syntax because any typo error here will prevent the Python shell from running or displaying correctly. Okay, so the print command has in bracket and within the bracket, I have the quotation marks denoting a string of text. Okay, let's say I want to make it a little more visually uh, visually uh, pleasant. Okay, so I all I've done was to put a series of equal signs to make like a line. Okay, and let's say I make a... Okay, save it and run it okay so now you are seeing uh lying like a title like that okay by the way uh one of the characters i should show you is this backspace uh, backslash with the n this is like a line break and for new line so save it run it so you see now print new line so you have blank line here then print series of equal sign produces like a line welcome 
to the jungle and then close with this line. Okay, so that is the print command. You can do very creative to make your program look a bit better. So let's try something. I save it, run it again. Okay, so we have a display there. Uh, let's put another line. Okay, let me do this again. Save it and rerun it. So it says the two line spacing and then what is your name? Now, this is a question. But strangely, you are not given a space to answer. Okay, so this print command is just for one-way display, the computer to show the user a display. But how can we get the user to say something back to the computer? Okay, that is where we have another command called input. Okay, instead of print, print, print is output, this show, display only. Whereas input, it means the computer is expecting a reply from the user. Okay, let me demonstrate this again. Let's uh, save it and run it again. Okay, so now what is your name? Input. So I can type something there and it will input but now we have not set it up correctly okay by the way it it is good you look at this the answer is joined to the question mark so you can actually put some spaces there maybe three spaces okay let me rerun it okay what is your name my name is jeff you put spaces there okay so uh, so what if you if i tell you my name uh, we haven't written anything in the software to store the user's response. So we are going to add some more insight here. Okay, so as this question is posed to the user, the user is going to be given the cursor to type something back. And whatever they type back and press enter, we would like to store this in what we call a variable. Okay, and you can call it N or name or something like that. Let's, I will call it N. Okay, so uh, question, what is your name? User response, this one. So whatever the user response and press enter key, it will be stored in a place called N. Or let's maybe let's just put it as name. Okay, and uh, why we want to store the user response is so that we can use it for them, use it against them in the future. So right now, let's say I say, I'm going to say, Hel hello, and we're going to uh, put the this one. So as they say, their name we're going to say hello to them okay let us test that out now okay so run display all this what is your name we are here so if i type this one and i press enter you see they have managed to put there so as you go you see that oh what happened to the space no space add one here okay and you don't like you want to put one more line this i'm just going to copy this put the new line there okay let's see again so you can fine-tune your program that's the advantage of wing id where you have edit on the left and the uh, running on the right okay i'm going to answer the question enter and you see there so that's a simple uh, print for output and input to ask a question and to store it in a variable to be used later on.
Okay, so the plus sign joins strings together. 